So uh, based on this um, Fortnite's challenge, which is all about mist and wintry textures and what have you, um, obviously you can go outside and take some pictures of mist and wintry textures. That sounds cool. Um, but just in case you fancy doing it and it's not happen doesn't have to be misty that day, what I thought I'd also do is just show you a quick tutorial on how you can use a, a feature. Um, in Photoshop to actually create sort of slightly misty effects. And this is only a, a sort of rough area. I mean, I, I, if I'd spent longer on it, I'd tidy things like this, this sort of bit up. But it looks all right over here, I think. Um, but basically, um, what we're going to be doing is using a, a render feature called Clouds to create these mist effects to turn an image like this, uh, he says. There we go. An image like this, which is something I shot up at um, Downswell Reservoir a couple of weeks ago. So we've still got like that slightly sort of autumnal, wintry, autumnal feel to it. But of course, as you can see, it was a nice, bright, sunny, sunny day. And what I've done is I've sort of uh, used um, some uh, effects to turn it into this sort of slightly more misty feel. As I say, it's a bit, you know, you can spend longer on it to create a better effect. But I think it looks all right over here. Anyway, so what we're going to do then is, first of all, if we take our, uh, our image, this one, OK, um, and what we're going to do is we're first of all just going to um, make some changes to the actual image itself just to make it look a bit more sort of wintry. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, now normally I would recommend that you would use adjustment layers for this just so you can go back and make changes but uh, just for the purpose of this tutorial to keep the layer panel nice and clean I'm just going to just use normal um, sort of adjustments. So what I'm going to do then first of all is I'm going to add a, a hue and saturation adjustment over here and I'm going to for the master I'm going to desaturate the whole thing first of all just to make it look a little bit sort of colder and what have you and then the other thing you can do within the hue and saturation is you can actually select different colors so for example with greens I'm going to fully desaturate well not not completely desaturate but I'm going to kind of take the greens down quite a long way um, the cyans I'm probably going to take them down a long way as well so this is the sky for example so I'm going to sort of drop that down so you can you see how the sky is now sort of losing its color and I might also just change the hue of that as well just to make it slightly more eye and grey rather than a sort of brighter greys of the um, uh, of a sort of a sunnier day. You see what I mean? So we've got something that looks a bit like that. So that's a bit more desaturated. Um, I can also um, add a um, an adjustments and a colour balance, and I might sort of um, just take because actually weirdly one of those things that people often associate with winter days is that they're very blue, but actually of course they're quite often not. They quite often kind of a bit more. Um, it just sort of brings out some of those mid-range tones, doesn't it? So if I kind of just do a bit of that sort of thing, maybe just to make it a little bit uh, slightly more. There we go, something like that. I say I'm not going to spend long playing around with it just because I'm uh, uh, trying to just do a quick sort of tutorial. So we'll we'll leave it at that for now and whatever. Uh, what I might also do is just add a um, brightness and contrast adjustment. I'm going to take some of the contrast out because, as we know, it's a sort of um, misty day. I'm just going to darken it off a little bit like so. Now the first thing I'm going to do, um, you might find that with your image um, that you've got too much sort of definition in the clouds, um, which is obviously great for a lot of great colour grades and stuff, but you might not necessarily want it for this. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go to layer and new layer like so. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our uh, gradient tool. We're going to, sorry, select white first one. And we're going to go to our gradient tool, which is this one here. Okay, and we're in the gradient tool. We're going to select this one, which is the linear gradient tool. And then, if we go into here, we're going to go into uh, our basic presets. We're going to select this one, which is foreground to transparent. Okay, and we're going to just click OK. And then, in our layer one that we've just uh, created, we might rename that to say gradient. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Shift to create a nice straight line, and I'm going to drag down from the top down to about sort of the water level and you can see what that does is it just washes out that sky and takes out some of that detail. Now um, that might be a bit too obvious so what I'm now going to do is just uh, drop the opacity of that a little bit. Yeah, can you see how it's now washing out that sort of sky texture? Yeah. So you can do that with other colours as well beyond as well as white uh, to create interesting kind of uh, darker sky effects and things like that. It's a useful technique to use. In this case what I've done is just use it to wash out the sky. So then, now what we're going to do is add some mist effects. So the next thing we're going to do is go and add another new layer. There we go. Now this new layer, uh, we're going to have the foreground colour as black. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come up to filter, 
and render and clouds. And can you see now what's happened is we've kind of generated this cloud effect, which if you've used After Effects before and used the, um, uh, oh God, what's the effect called? It's quite a popular effect in After Effects. The, the, uh, oh, never mind, for the purpose of this tutorial, I can't remember, it's off the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember it. Anyway, uh, very similar to effect that happens in After Effects that you can um, generate and change and what have you. So what we're going to do with this one then is, first of all, we're going to go up to Filters and we're going to Convert for Smart Objects, which will be important in a bit. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to Filter and we're going to go to Blur and Gaussian Blur. And what we're going to do with this Gaussian Blur is we're going to sort of blur it up to around this sort of amount, something like that, okay? So 53 or something like that along those lines, okay? And I'm going to click OK. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, Screen. And you can see what's happened here now is that it's only showing us the white parts of the clouds and the darker parts we can sort of uh, see through. Okay, so at the moment that doesn't look very effective. But what we're going to do now, okay, is a little tip. If you are holding on to layer two, what you're now going to do is come down to this icon here, which is the Add Layer Mask tool. But what you're going to do is you're actually going to hold down the Option key on your Mac or Alt key on your PC, and then click it. And what that does is it actually creates a mask, which has now meant that we can't see it. But when we start painting onto this layer now, we'll start to be able to see those clouds kind of coming through, if you see what I mean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my brush tool and I'm going to make sure white is my foreground colour. Uh, and I've got like a nice large brush size and fairly low opacity. And what I'm going to start doing is just painting in to my image like so. And you can see that that mist effect is starting to come out. You see that? Like so. And that's just giving a sort of a nice general cloudy feel to the overall scene. Like so. Okay. So I'm not going to overdo it with this one. I'm just going to just create some sort of cloudy effects like so. And I can go up into the sky and just rub a bit of that back as well, that sort of thing, just to just to really kind of give that sense of the of the misty feel to this scene. It says it's not going to go overdo it and then you get carried away, don't you? So, a little bit of that. And we're going to leave the ones in the foreground because we're not going to add another effect in a minute to do those. Okay. So then what we're going to do now is we're going to add a secondary effect. Oh, as well, we're basically going to repeat the process again. We're going to layer, new layer, okay, like so. And then we're going to make sure that that's black, filter, uh, render, clouds, like so. Okay, um, what we're going to do now is add an adjustment. So I'm going to really whack the contrast up with this one so we get uh, sharper edges on this cloud. And now I'm going to go filter convert for smart objects, like so, and filter um, blur. And I'm going to go to a Gaussian blur, and I'm going to probably take this blur down a bit more. So this has got sort of slightly more tendrily, kind of sharper edges to it, that sort of thing. Okay. I'm going to click OK like that. Same thing again then. I'm going to go to Screen. Okay. But the difference with this one, what I'm going to do before I start painting it in, is I'm going to go to Edit and I'm going to go to uh, Transform and Distort. And what I'm going to do with this, basically, is we're going to give this a bit of perspective so that it actually kind of looks sharper, so like smaller in the distance and larger closer to. Okay. So I'm going to basically drag these edges down like so to condense that down there like that okay and then what I'm going to do is if I just zoom out a little bit uh, da, 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 da. There we go. a little tip on that one that's option command and minus on a Mac or alt command and minus on a um, PC and then we can drag that out like so drag it out like that Okay, and that looks good. So now you can see we're starting to get just a little bit of a sort of perspective effect on this. It's not the end of the world. Um, it's just one of those things I just like to add. Okay, so there we go. So now we can, um, now we've got our effect, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go over to uh, the um, Add Layer Mask, okay, and I'm going to hold down my Option key, and I'm going to create another one like so. So now all we're seeing is the original mist that we've created, okay, and I'm going to get my a um, brush tool, and now what I'm going to do is start painting in some slightly more 
some specific patches of mist where they might be happening in the foreground and just adding a bit more definition to this background and perhaps you can start to see what is coming together here. This sort of, I mean I'm putting quite a lot around the water because obviously that's where a lot of mist sort of tends to hang on these misty days isn't it? And maybe a little sort of sweeps a bit across this foreground here. I mean I think the key thing is to be sort of strategic about it, you don't want to sort of overdo it, although I feel like I am overdoing it a bit here, but anyway, there we are. Um, but you get the idea, you can kind of see how it starts to come together. Yeah? So that's a sort of an effective misty sort of Photoshop technique that you can try, and as I say, I'll go be a little bit kind of um, abstract with mine, but you can kind of take a bit more time on it and perhaps condense that fog down a little bit so it looks a little bit more kind of realistic rather than just some random sort of uh, bits of spray that I've just added on. Yeah, that doesn't look very good at all. Um, but you know, you get the idea. You can sort of be a little bit more sort of sporadic with it and create these sorts of effects with it. And again, if I had a bit more, if I was going to spend a bit more longer on it, I could sort of do a bit more with that. What I might do is now that I've overdone it a bit with this one, I might now go into my opacity and just drag that down a little bit so it's actually not too too over the top, like so. Yeah. So anyway, that's a sort of a technique that you can use uh, to create these kind of mist effects if you want to. Um, so yeah, I mean, have a crack at it um, and let's see how you get on. Cheers all.